एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम in the first part we have studied about the r l and c their uh, combination is present in the series i am narendra kaur now if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details so you can refer this book from s chan publishing link is also given in the description box now in this part we will studied when r l and c they are combined in the parallel form means they are combined parallelly now firstly in this case there we will discuss the two cases so first case if this is the r inducting coil is present over here and again this voltage is given by this relation now here this combination r this is a r here this is a capacitance again this is a r and this is a l now the combination of here r and c this is in series the combination of this r and l that is in parallel so they are also in series this combination this combination both are present in parallel over here now the current here is flowing if this is a i current now we know that in uh, when we are uh, going to the parallel combination the current is divided over here so in the first half the current is given by i1 and for below one the current will be i2 over here again now we will calculate the resultant vector for i1 and i2 how we will calculate for i1 now for i1 the voltage drop is again here that will be the vr so vr i1 is calculated for the first half and i2 is calculated for the second one so for i1 the voltage drop across r that is given by vr which is equals to i1 into r for capac capacitance that is equals to vc which is equals to i1 into xc and the resultant is given by now how we can well firstly plot this phasor diagram for phasor diagram if this is a vr and the current is flowing over here this one now again in case of capacitance the current is ahead to the voltage so this this is the ic over here now the resultant for these two that will be equals to you can say that ir1 that is the resultant vector over here this makes an angle theta now we want to calculate for the i2 part for again i2 part the resultant drop uh, voltage drop across the resistance that will be i1 r i2 r and for vl that will be equals to i2 into xl and their resultant means we can calculate over here now here in this case the voltage drop here vl that will be equals to i2 into xl now plot again over here now for this i2 into xl that will be lags behind over here that is i l now resultant of these two that is i r i r into 2 which makes an angle theta now again at the end we are getting over here the two component what which are the two components one is i r 1 and second is a i r 2 over here i now we will get over here this is a i r1 you can say that and second one is the i r 2 over here this makes an angle theta 1 or theta or this makes an angle theta 2 and along this side there is a i r which is a voltage drop cross this one now again in order to calculate its resultant we will calculate firstly their x and y component so draw along this direction their x component that will be given by ir plus i1 r cos theta 1 plus ir2 cos theta 
and I y that is given by I 1 r sin theta 1 minus I r 2 sin theta 2. Again the resultant will be given by I which is equals to I x square plus I y square into under this one and tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 if we want to calculate their phase that is given by I y divided by I x. So, dividing these two components so we will calculate their phase also. So, this is the combination when the uh, they are present in the series as well as in parallel. Now, next is the so in the next part here the resistance is this one this is the inductor and next is the capacitance they are parallel in the parallel combination is present over here and again AC voltage is supplied over here. Now again in this case the current will be divided across 3 if I is current flowing through in the circuit in the starting then across the register the current will be IR here the resistance will be IL and here the current will be XC. Again by using the resultant of these three IR square plus IL minus XIC IL minus IC whole square. So by using this relation the resultant current can be calculated and the resultant impedance that is also given by R square plus XL minus XC square. So, by using this relation the resultant value that will be calculated. So, this is all about the uh, when I, R and L they are uh, presented in the parallel combination. So, in the part 1 we have studied R, L and C their series combination while in part 2 we have studied R, L and C in the AC circuit when they are present in the parallel combination and then they can calculate their resultant and also we have calculated their power factor. Now, if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details, so you can refer this book from S. Chan Publishing. Link is also given in the description box. Now, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the S. Chan Academy and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.